Venom. A heinous substance that opens up the strange world of the surreal. This is how I remember the night I entered this world. I was in a play in my final year of school, a Jane Austen play. It was premiere night, the show was glorious, without a hitch. The air was filled with the rush to get home. I was hanging up my Bingley coat when I entered another realm. A tiny spider crawled its way on top of my left pinky. Without warning or hesitation, it unleashed its venom into my system. What initially felt like a pinprick transformed into a furious fire that spread to my brain. What spider was it? Was it deadly? I fell into survival mode, doing all I could before it ruined me. But the world around me was changing. I fell into a strange state of numb euphoria, mixed with the dreaded thoughts of the possibility of death. Next thing I know, I was going 100 kilometers per hour into the dead of night. We were all over the road, as the oncoming lights attacked me from the windshield. The teacher driving was in her own pain. She said she had tripped on the way to the car, but she was also in her own euphoria, telling me she has never broken a bone. Her attitude was odd, to say the least. When you're on Venom, your brain continuity is shot. It's like a disjointed movie, but you still notice the fine details. Like the nurse's Cheshire smile at the hospital and the way she bandages your pinky. It was cartoonishly huge, but I couldn't rest it. You must keep it upright, she said, to stop the venom invading your body further. Logical. I soon discovered I was being led through a labyrinth of halls that took on a life of their own. I had no idea where I was going, or that I was even walking. I then found myself in a bed, feeling very perplexed. I thought to myself, ah oh, shit, what are these noises I'm hearing? Why do I have wires under my shirt? What is this on my arm and why is it getting tighter? It's making me feel woozy. I need to get out of this place. I found on Venom, time passes without you knowing, and yet you feel frozen in a place where seemingly nothing happens. I felt bored. It was then did I hear the teacher through the wall in the next room. She was talking to a doctor about her foot. I decided to listen in. Hmm. Well, I believe you've broken your foot. Oh, that makes sense. I felt extreme guilt. She hopped into my room to tell me she has no hard feelings, but I still felt very guilty. Later. I found myself in a hallway. I was waiting to get out of this place. Waiting to end this strange night. However, I noticed people were giving me odd looks as they passed by. Why was this? What was I missing? I didn't understand until I saw an annoyed doctor up the hall being bugged by two people. You must let us see our father. No, you can't. He's irritable. He's throwing chairs. It was then did I notice the sign near me, making it all clear. I was sober enough from the venom to realize I was outside the mental health center, dressed in 19th century clothing, holding up a cartoonishly bandaged pinky to create what I thought to be a portrait of pure insanity. Venom is a truly heinous substance. Uh -huh.